Once again, this is David Savage uh, showing you how to import a custom weapon into UDK. This is part two of my video series. Uh, I am a student, a level design student with the Guildhall at SMU, cohort 16. We're uh, using the May 2011 version of UDK. Today is June 5th, 2011. So right click and import or click the button. And we're going to grab your mesh PSK. And you're going to open that. We're going to set this to meshes. And our naming convention for this one is going to be SK for skeletal mesh, WP for weapon, buzzkill mesh. Click OK. And you'll now see under meshes we have our gun, which you can now double click and you can look at in 3D. You'll notice that the texture is not the one that we set up in Max, but that's okay. We can go ahead and apply that now. Inside of the content browser, select your material, then come back into the, uh, the static editor, and you'll see that on the left side there is a bunch of tabs, mesh, anim set, anim sequence. You'll see one that says materials uh, under skeletal mesh. Uh, it may be open or not, but go ahead and open up that list and click all the green arrows for all the different slots. So you click zero and that'll apply most of the texture and then one and that'll apply the rest of it. And now our gun is properly textured with spec and normal map. Everything's looking good to go here. So what we can do is we can go ahead and close this but before we do that we actually want to set up sockets. Sockets are important because they tell the gun where the bullets are coming out of and where to hold on to the handle. Without these things the game doesn't know uh, anything other than this is just a, a, a static. They don't know how to make it work as a gun. So we click mesh and we go to socket manager. Now that we're in socket manager, we'll go ahead and click new socket and it'll bring up this drop down list and you'll notice that we have things like main gun handle, secondary handle, rocket barrel, right gun barrel, left gun barrel. We're going to go ahead and set up the handle first. This will be so that uh, whenever we set this up in the next tutorial, we can tell the player where to actually grab the gun. So if you grab onto main gun handle, click OK, now we have to give it a socket name. Make sure you give it a good naming convention so that way it's easier to remember later. This one can easily just be handle socket. And you'll notice that our gizmo tool is now on the handle so that way you'll know that it's correct. We're going to do the same thing for the barrels, that way the gun can know where to shoot from. So we're going to go with left gun barrel, click OK, and we're going to name this one muzzle flash uh, primary one socket because the machine gun is our primary fire, whereas the rocket is our secondary fire. Click OK. Now you'll notice uh, our gizmo tool is actually in the wrong place on this gun. So we're going to need to move that gizmo to the end of the gun. So just use the, uh, the different uh, arrows on the gizmo to set it up to where you want the bullet and the muzzle flashes to come from. That looks about good. Now we're going to make a new socket and we're going to actually copy the same uh, socket that we just made. Or we're going to use the same one. And the reason is we're just going to call this one MF Prime 1. And this is, uh, this is for when we set it up later. That way the, uh, one, the, the muzzle flash is for where to put the particle effect and MF prime one is where to make the bullet come out of. Uh, we need two references. So once again, we're gonna need to slide this over. Doesn't have to be an exact science. It looks about, eh, we can bring it over just a little bit. There we go. Now we're gonna wanna repeat all of this for our right barrel. And we'll call this one muzzle flash prime two socket. You'll notice this one is for some reason way below our gun, but we can fix that. And make sure you're rotating the camera as you do this so that way you can see it from all angles because what may look correct from above could be very wrong from the side. 
right gun barrel. We're going to name this one MF Prim 2. Click OK. And there we go. Now we could also set up our rocket, but in the interest of time, we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, pretty much for as many fires as you have or many points you have of interest on your weapon, it's always good to set up a socket. So we can go ahead and close this, and now we need to import our animation. So we're going to close out of the, this window, and we need to make a new animation set. So inside of the package, which we're going to go ahead and save, because like I said, best practice is to keep saving, we're going to right click, and we're going to go with new anim set. And we need to give this a grouping name, so we're going to call it anims, and we're going to give it the name, mm, let's go with K, because it's an animation, and we're going to call it WP Buzzkill. We're going to click OK. Now you'll notice it does not load up our gun. Do not freak out. This is just standard UDK happening here. You can easily fix this by going to Skeletal Mesh, finding uh, your weapon, SK WP Buzzkill Mesh. And there it is. Nothing to worry about. So we need to go ahead and import the PSA that we made in the previous tutorial. We're going to click File, Import PSA, and there's our PSA right there. And now it's imported. And if you go to the Anim tab, you can see Firing, which is the animation sequence that we set up. And you can even play it. You'll see how we get a little bit of uh, movement there in our gun. There we go. So now we have the gun firing, and we have that animation all set up. So we can go ahead and close this. And make sure you save the package. And that's it. Our gun is completely imported into the UDK editor. Uh, now we can begin to change some of the things to implement it to where we can actually make it fire and make it use usable in a real game. So thank you for listening. I uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful.